Hello video fans! So today I'm going to cover the 8 most important criteria for choosing your video OTT partner. So item number one, cloud versus on-premise. Some of the OTT providers will be able to support you on a full SaaS model. Some we would, li would like to deploy on-premise if you have the infrastructure to do so. And some can even provide a hybrid model where some of the OTT components are available on-site and some of them are provided from the cloud itself. So please have a partner which uh, support all these functionalities and flexibilities, deploying on a variety of networks, fixed, mobile, also on his own cloud uh, platforms. Item number two, end-to-end -end versus best of breed. So some of the partners will be able to provide a complete end-to-end -end solution, whether on their own cloud or provided on-premise. These uh, components can be the transcoding phase, the content management, some subscriber management, CDN, mobile application, analytics. The provider might have some of the technologies that are developing in-house, and some of them are actually outsourced from third parties. Some of the providers are focusing on niche um, areas in the complete OTT sections like the transcoding, all the content management, all the CDN on the mobile apps. So depending on your own internal resources and operational capabilities and expertise, uh, it is very important to analyze what type of expertise you have in-house and actually outsource those specific items from external supplier and making sure you have the right infrastructure and the right team to support and integrate all the different silos of the OTT system. Item number three is the content management. So the CMS is a very critical component, obviously, of this overall OTT system. So it is very important to choose a content management that is, one, feature-rich, and two, is scalable to support high level of concurrent request per second. So in terms of the CMS, it should su support variety of uh, options and features, such as variety of uh, uh, content packages types such as SVOD, TVOD, AVOD, pay-per-view, uh, prepayment, etc. etc. It should also support the user management, the subscriber management, the billing side. Some of them are also to support the, the application side, management from the back end, uh, content re discovery, recommendation engines, network DVR, transcoding, recording, DRM. Many of these issues are part of the CMS and the CMS partners should support all these variety on a various business model that we've discussed. The issue of scalability is very, very important as the platform should support a uh, high level of uh, concurrent requests that are hitting the system. For example, in a push notification, many uh, consumers would like to access the system at a certain time, which is very, very uh, minimal, uh, and, and the system should support that uh, peak demand or peak request that are hitting the backend in a variety of times throughout the day. Item number four, kill the buffer CDN. So CDN is a truly critical component of the OTT architecture, both from quality of experience and cost. Uh, many CDN providers are providing the solution as a hardware and software that are, needs to be installed on your own infrastructure. And some of them, the likes of Akamai and Lamlight, are, have their own global infrastructure, have their own global cloud that are uh, also available for, the, for, for use in a certain project. So depending on your own uh, uh, business plan and targets, whether you have an infrastructure or no, it is very important to choose the right partner, whether to deploy on your own premise or to take it from an external SaaS provider. The best probably is to have someone who can uh, able to support you on both fronts, uh, maybe to start on an OPEX from a SaaS provider and actually grow on-prem or even the other way around. So depending on uh, the, if you're an operator with your own infrastructure or a content provider, we will depend it on external supplier. This issue is critical and very important. The CDN should also support a variety of new formats and features such as uh, 4K video, live, uh, VOD obviously, uh, virtual reality streaming, new v delivery formats such as MPEG Dash, obviously HLS, etc. etc. Uh, the CDN provider should have a focused video expertise. The issue of uh, uh, overcoming pool network areas is critical in the selection of, of the CDN provider. Uh, item number five support for any business model. So OTT can project can be built upon a full CapEx project, so procuring the whole ecosystem in advance, or it can be full 
pay-as-you-grow OPEX type of engagement, usually provided by an external cloud providers within our ecosystem. Some of the providers also have the hybrid model where they can deploy some of the critical components on-premise, uh, depending on the infrastructure that the customer has. And some of them are actually to provide the other components from their own infrastructure. So maybe the live transcoder can be located on-site, the CDN can be a SaaS CDN, uh, and another important topic is the managed services and the engagement for this ongoing 24-7 support. So some, it is important to select whether the provider will provide a complete 24-7 uh, managed service type of engagement. It needs to have a network operating center in place that is covering uh, the globe and all the time zones, or it is just uh, CapEx, hardware, software, and SLA type of engagement. Uh, item number six, support uh, all the advanced features within the OTT and video streaming ecosystem. So all the issues of virtual reality, 4K delivery, 1080p delivery, network DVR, HDR, and recording events, recommendation, mobile applications, smart TVs. So we need to have all these into, uh, into, attention, into our attention and keep in mind that it is very important to select a partner that's actually been able to support us not only with the requirements that we have today, but it's very, very flexible in its uh, technology platform to support new features and new change requests that are 100% guaranteed are going to be available and required uh, in the future of the ongoing activities of the OTT project. Item number seven the interface itself so it's, it should have a, a very very smooth and flexible like a wizard based type of back-end interface starting from the content preparation transcoding insertion of metadata and thumbnails the gear blocking and and, and, the, and the drm and moving to the content management allocating bulk of content to specific packages monetizing them in the various uh, business models and monetization types then a smooth transition to the origin for packaging and also CDN itself the consumers uh, application analytics so it should be a very smooth uh, and scalable fast scalable uh, uh, way of deploying the platform but also ongoing managing the platform uh, uh, from uh, from your own uh, internal resource the last point is analytics. So both on the performance side and also on the marketing business side, it's very important to provide a complete system, pre-integrated system that is able to support the analytics side. So performance analytics related to the network issues, the, the concurrent uh, uh, viewers, the traffic within the network, location of streaming, uh, peak gigabit per second of the overall uh, throughput, throughput of the network, and, but also uh, a platform that can scale to more advanced analytics on the marketing side so the issues of uh, the business itself how many people viewed when they start to view when they stop viewing from which location on which device what are the cost of delivery what is the cost of the content and what is the uh, projected income so all these various business model and the ability to retarget specific profiles and segment in the industry in the, in the consumer base these are all very very important uh, items of the of the OTT partner so that's a wrap up. So thank you for listening. Hope to uh, hear from you. Uh, what are the topics that are interest so we can cover them more deeply? Uh, let me know what you think. Please subscribe to my channel and see you very, very soon. Thank you and bye-bye.